Welcome! In this video, we'll dive into building a dynamic dialogue system in Unity that will level up your game development. Whether you're creating branching narratives or simple conversations, this system offers flexibility, ease of use, and seamless integration. Let's jump in and make your game come to life. So as you can see, this is what we are going to produce by the end of this video. And let's get started with the project setup right away. So as you can see, uh, it's a very simple scene with two NPCs, all right? And we have an NPC script that takes in two dialogue scriptable objects, all right? We'll look at this later on. And followed by this, we have a canvas, which is what our dialogue is, basically, the UI for the dialogue. As you can see, this is the template. And this is the dialogue manager script. We have references for the title, content, the character delay and punctuation delay and maximum words we can display, as well as for the next button and the canvas itself. And in here we have the title and buttons also. Here you are, the buttons, which is linked to the dialogue manager that move next function. We'll look at that in a moment. So this is it for this project setup. And now if I were to disable this again, we can look at the dialogue here, as you can see. These are the different scriptable objects. We each with a title and then the lines that they want to say. All right, so we've got two dialogues per character, okay? So here is the coding side of things. As you can see, this is the scriptable object for the dialogue. We just have a reference for the title and whatever content we want to show. And moving on to the next uh, script, which is for the NPC manager. Uh, this one would be dependent on your implementation, but essentially what's important is that we keep track of all the dialogues that we can use and where we've reached, all right? Uh, here I've also added a move next method that increments and ensures that current dialogue index is always within bounds and this is whichever trigger you want to use to trigger a dialogue for me and this uh, demo we have it only when you click the character it just shows this dialogue and here is the dialogue manager script the core of our system uh, here as you can see we just keep references to uh, the UI that we need for the, for example the title and the content also we keep a reference to this one using the singleton pattern and also to the move next button the canvas as well as some delays and maximum word count avoid awake we just reference that move next is setting this flag to true uh, you see where we use it later on and then we just have a method to show the dialogue so this is the i emulator, the coroutine that's responsible for displaying the uh, dialogue. So as you can see, when this is called, we set the title text to whichever title we want, uh, reset the content text, and then we just enable the dialogue itself. And here we just loop through all characters in the content that we want. Uh, we increment, so we add it to the text display and then we wait for the punctuation delay or the character delay based on if our character is a punctuation or not. As you can see, this is the method here that returns true. And now for the maximum words, we just get the amount of words that we have currently in the text mesh pro. And then we just check if it's exceeding or matching the max word count that we have. And we only do so if we've reached a punctuation or if we reached uh, a space character and if it does match then we set the move next button to true wait until they click it and then reset the content text and disables the button and then we just loop through each characters of the character of, of the content sorry and once this is done we just again show the next button and then wait for them to actually press it and when they do we just disable everything and then just increment uh, the current dialogue index using move next so essentially this is everything about the characters dialogue system that we have 
and uh, now we just have to set it up in the Unity Editor as we've done previously and then once this is done you should be having a character a dialogue system that is fully functional and quite flexible as well as you can see this is the end result so if you guys enjoyed this video do feel free to leave a like subscribe as well and comment below whichever question or queries that you have also do keep in mind that i am going to release this asset for free on the unity asset store so always just check in the description or the comment below uh, for a link to this page all right um, it should become available in the next four or five days i believe and on that note uh, i'll see you guys next one bye